Well, hello there, lords and ladies of the realm. I am Wadsworth the Fifth, and it's just me right now. But if you've been paying attention to Asmerelda's channel, boy, she has been busy making video after video. It's been quite impressive. Yesterday she was on a roll, and uh, one of the things that she was talking about was uh, relationships and building communities and how that's going to go forward from here in this new world that we are building. So, it is certainly different. And the inclination that I was getting today, uh, when I was being told, time to do a video, you know, have a little fun, uh, was the fusion of couples, okay? And, you know, totally typical, uh, you know, I'm not going to speak for other countries, but here in the United States, we'll, ke we'll keep it simple now. One man, one woman. And that is it. And you're supposed to make it work. And the way it typically goes here in the United States is, you know, you get together, you have some fun, you have the child, you get two jobs, you both uh, spend way too much money on a house, uh, you're both exhausted, don't have enough time for each other, and things fall apart. And there's the divorce, and there's the hatred, and all these terrible, awful things that were probably out of your control, and simply could not be handled by two people. And so you end up blaming the other for the two of you not being able to be enough for the other person. Physically, mentally, spiritually, you know, sexually, whatever it is. And, and so you're completely overwhelmed. And, you know, the card that... I've had this deck laying in front of me for like a week or two now. And the universe just, as the day goes by, points things out. And so right now they are pointing out Transformation, okay? And this is from the Sensual Wicca Tarot deck again. Uh, transformation. And it is the transformation of relationships. And this one is the fusion of couples. Because simply the way things are run now, one couple does not have a chance a snowball's chance in hell of being successful in a long-term run. It just, I mean, for me, I look back and, you know, I just remember parents after parents, my parents are divorced, these parents are divorced, they're divorced. And then when, you know, my last long-term relationship prior to Esmeralda, like, I can remember, you know, when, when we were having our child, that... The nurse came in to, the, to our room, and we were unmarried, and very happy, and I, I was excited. I was excited to be a dad, and she was very excited, and like, things were going good. And so, the nurse comes in, and she goes, let me ask you a question now. Are you two going to get married? And we both just kind of looked at each other. And I, we both had the same thought, that marriage simply did not work anymore. You know, despite all the love and all, you know, our hopes and dreams of being together and creating a family and having a beautiful home, it wasn't quite there, you know? That that ideal of that, you know, one man, one woman for all time, you know, it, it ends in divorce. And in, even though we never got married, we certainly had our own sad version of divorce, you know? And I wish her well. And I hope things are going well for her. And, you know, and I really want the best for her and our children. And, you know, and that's all you can really hope for uh, when things do break up. But some of this was because finances, sexuality, I'm sure, played a part of it. Spirituality played a part of it. I, you know, I am certainly not the same man that I was uh, during that relationship. Um, you know, I've changed. I mean, I think if she gave me uh, the time of day, which I would appreciate, I think she would find that, oh my goodness, you're not the same man, you know? And it's really easy, especially, you know, when you haven't seen each other in a long time, that you think about all the things that upset you. And it becomes rose-colored, because there's the positive things you did, and there's the negative things that he did, or vice versa, and there is this middle ground where 
No, I was not perfect. No, she was not perfect. We both did the best we could. And we struggled. And it is what it is. You know, you hope for better times in the future, better communication, better everything to move forward. But as we look at relationships now and building these new communities, as Esmeralda was saying in one of our videos, I found she did a, a fantastic job in that video. I mean, she was empowered into speaking out and like she had the lighting and everything. I'm very proud of her for that video. So I have to give her kudos for that. I will try to find the link and add it uh, down below so you can take a look at that video too. I think you'll enjoy that one. But, you know, there is simply, you know, you know, you can be the lone person trying to do everything. And if you look at this guy, like, yes, he may have talent and he may have skills doing his art and creating what he's doing, but he's also losing his shirt because he's trying to do it all alone now. And that's the, the problem, you know? We're all trying to catch that big fish. You know, we all want to ride in for prosperity and, you know, sexual adventures and all these fun things. Uh, but you need teamwork. Teamwork. If you want to build successful ventures, whether they are uh, business, uh, relationship-wise, and I do believe this, this video is far more about relationships, you want to build stable relationships these days. One of the things that we are all going to have to learn to do just a little bit differently is open up our relationships. And I don't mean... Hey, hey, we're swinging now. No, no, no. It means building small groups, families, you know, six, seven people perhaps even. And that is what has come to mind, that we will have these community families that are much more successful, that are able to fill our cups for everyone in the family. And it is not an easy transition, let me tell you. It is certainly something that Esmeralda and I have discussed and gone over many times as to how to proceed, how we we're going to be okay with this, because we were both raised on it's one man, one woman. But that is not the end-all and be-all of relationships anymore. That is not what the universe is telling her. It is not what it is telling me. It has been quite clear that it takes a village to be successful. And so I believe in this new day and age, we can be successful. We all hop on our chariots and enjoy our new communities, our new families, and our new fusion of couples. So on that note, I am Wadsworth the Fifth. And I wish you all a glorious day and adventures abound. Enjoy them all.